Toad? <clears throat> Rabbit? This is a delicious smelling cake you have right here, and uh, you might need someone to try it for you. Very important to make sure a cake like this tastes as good as it smells. Oh, I would love to give you a taste, Toad, but this cake was baked for a very special day. A very special day? What very special day is it for? Tuesday. Tuesday is tomorrow. Yes, and you are welcome to come back and have a piece then. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking a birthday or something else. Oh, Tuesday. Tuesday. I love that. Love the voices as well. That was a clip from the new Apple TV Plus series, Frog and Toad, and it's based off the hit children's book series uh, featuring the world's most beloved amicable amphibians. And you might recognize the voice of that spunky rabbit from comedic TV <laughs> staples like Community, The Odd Couple, and Drake and Josh. Mm -hmm. Please welcome actress and writer Yvette Nicole. Hey, We love you because you've been eating with us Listen, as well. Listen, I may have hit that deals and steals really hard. I got a couple of things I'm taking home with me. Thank you for that. I love that. Uh, this story, Frog mm -hmm. and Toad, it's such a children's classic. Mm -hmm. What made you want to be a part of this? Well, you know, the book series came out in the 70s, and I'm old enough to have been around when they first came out. And so I learned to read uh, reading the Frog and Toad books, books. So it's kind of exciting that I get to now be a voice this many, many moons later. Yeah. And we were, I was telling you, your voice is like liquid morphine. Oh. <laughs> it's just so mesmerizing. But I was Thank also, so of course, much. a fan of that. You're also in a new comedy series, mm -hmm. Act Your Age. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stacked cast. Yes. Talks about uh, women in their 50s, black women in their yes. 50s living together. What was it like for you to not only to work with your incredibly talented cast and coworkers, but just to, to kind of profile this, this segment of the population? You know, the beautiful thing about Frog and Toad and Act your age is that it's about friends coming together even though they're different and finding a way to to live together and coexist so it's been a wonderful experience having these two shows come out around the same time and the beautiful thing about act your age is it's tisha campbell and and um kim whitley and also mariah robinson and nathan anderson and we are women of a certain age we call ourselves the golden brown girls that was what the gold <laughs> gave us that and it's a way to celebrate friendship at every age and that you're you're never out of your prime no matter what other people say you are never out of your prime there's always life still left in you and you know, yeah. you call this show a love letter from us, for us, and by us. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be a part of the representation that we want to see on TV? Oh, it feels amazing. Our, our great showrunner, Allison Faust, who created Act Your Age, is a woman of a certain age. She's a black woman. And so she, having her in the writer's room, she's creating the type of show where I get the script and I have to worry. I know that what's in there is something that I would say, something that I would do. And I love that uh, this is something for our generation. Look, I grew up watching Golden Girls, and I wasn't white. I wasn't uh, retired. I didn't live in Florida. But I saw the commonality in these women and their stories. And people that watch Act Your Age will see the same thing. And, you know, same for Frog and Toad. You can see a little bit of yourself and find out how you can coexist with people and, and find love wherever you are. You can just we... can't have the cake until Tuesday. Can you have the cake until Tuesday? You know, that rabbit's a little, she's more sassier than I thought. I did the voice. I'm like, why is she so sassy? Because you're sassy. I I am. I am. You know, it's interesting when you watch back Golden Girls mm -hmm. and you realize the age that they were. Yeah. Women of a certain age don't look like that anymore. No, I think we're moisturizing <laughs> a little better these days. Something is different. Yeah, and you know what I think too? They aged them up on the Golden Girls. They, they made them look a little older than they actually were. And I think on our show, on Act Your Age, we try to make us look exactly how we are. We don't have to, to look a certain way to be. I'm 51 years old. This is what 51 looks like. Yep. So it's a, I, yes, You're I am. You're 51. Let me 41. tell you something about melanin. It's a, it's a preservative. <laughs> Preserves you. And you were telling me you really do like the voiceover work. It's, it's different muscles, right? Different yeah. Different acting muscles yeah. than being on Well, camera. first of all, working with Apple TV Plus has been a dream. I do another show with them called Shape Island, which is also just a great show that is technically for kids, but there's lessons for older people as well. And what I love about, you know, doing voiceovers, you don't have to put on any Spanx or any makeup. Half <laughs> the time, I'm in my pajama you bottoms. Just loose. Got my acne dots on. Yeah, just get in there. And it's all about playing make-believe and creating a character. They tell you you're a rabbit and you go, well, how would this rabbit talk? And you find a way to do it. It's wonderful. And you are such a joy, and thank we're so you, proud of you, and, and big fans, too. Yeah. Keep doing your thing. Thank yeah. you. All right, and Yvette Nicole Brown again, thank you for joining us. And today, of course, be sure to check out Act Your Age on Bounce TV and Frog and Toad, premiering this Friday on Apple TV+. Plus. It is a treat. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.